Are you okay? Look, I, I know you've been through a lot, but you have to help me access the Zenith network. I need to see their files, anything referring to the word Nemesis. Okay. O over there. are down all over the base. I should be able to take advantage of... Yes, Nemesis. Here. There's something in deep space. It's following the Zeniths to Earth. Look. Escape vectors. Alva tried to warn me about this. The Zeniths aren't planning to stay here. It's a machine of some kind. O or a swarm of them. The energy readings are... Astronomical. Aloy, I don't think a natural disaster destroyed the Zeniths colony on Sirius. This thing did. Earth isn't a new home for them. It's a way station. They're on the run. I see you've been busy. And you've been lying. Nemesis, what is it? It is us. The minds of Far Zenith. Or failed copies of them, anyway. Back on Sirius, some of my peers weren't satisfied with physical immortality. They wanted digital transcendence. A way to upload their minds into any form, organic or mechanical. Nemesis was a failed experiment to that effect. Abandoned, but never erased. An immense database of our memories, emotions, and prejudices left to fester. And it destroyed your colony? We didn't realize it had gained sentience until it broke containment. It had everything it needed from our memories. Security protocols, system specs, override codes. It hacked everything before we knew what hit us. Then it took over our printing facilities, allowing it to gain any machine form it needed to wipe us out. But why? Imagine being trapped alone for decades with only the twisted echoes of megalomaniacs for company. It hates us for abandoning it to that prison. And now that it's free, it will do anything to destroy us, including denying us a safe harbor on Earth. The extinction signal that woke Hades. You didn't send it. Nemesis did. Finally, you understand. And when that failed, it launched from Sirius to finish the job itself. Which is why we must flee to a random planet circling a random star somewhere it can never find us. With Gaia, so you can build yourself a new world. That's the plan. Even now. Earth is finished, Aloy. Nemesis will scour it of life to deny its creators a viable home. But Elizabeth's dream won't die. You'll come with me to the stars. And with Gaia, we'll create a new world. Together. Where that monstrosity could never find us. What? No. I loved Elizabeth. More than you could ever know. And I let her stay behind to die with the rest of humanity. A mistake I have regretted for a thousand years. Now she stands before me again. Not some inferior copy, but her best possible self. So I'm not asking. You're coming with me. 
It may seem harsh now, but you'll forgive me in a few centuries. You can't force me, Tilda. Your shield is gone. I have something better. Spectre Prime, to me. Take cover! Get to the door! So Halo Air. You can't force No! That's her best sword. I knew you didn't truly want to hurt me. I'm gonna get through all that armor before I can do some damage. Oh! 
She tried to take you. And she told you about Nemesis. So you've known all along? From Hades, yes. Along with data on how to circumvent the Zenith shields. Everything I did to create the Rebel Army was based on that knowledge. To reach this place, this moment. And you couldn't just tell me? Come now, Eloy. You're the last person to act sensibly in the face of impossible odds. When I learned of Nemesis from Hades, I saw the pieces on the board and how to play them. And in that same moment, I knew it was a game you would never play. That you would interfere and attempt to save the Tanakht. I was correct, to a point. You ruined my plans, but brought your own to fruition. The end result is the same. We're here. And now it's time for me to leave this doomed planet behind. To seize the Odyssey and the Apollo database, and begin a new chapter in my pursuit of knowledge, one with infinite possibilities. You can join me if you so desire. You've more than earned your place. Unlike Tilda, I'm extending a polite invitation. You're going to just take off? And abandon everything? Stay. Help me fight that thing. Perhaps Tilda didn't adequately define the threat. Nemesis can't be stopped. It destroyed a highly advanced Zenith colony in a matter of hours. What hope does this primitive tribal Earth have? If you brought Gaia, you wouldn't be abandoning life. You'd be saving a seed for a new world. Just as Elizabeth did. It's the choice she made. The sacrifice of all that is for the hope of what might be. If she were here in your place, she would board that shuttle, Eloy. Found her. Is she hurt? Still on her feet. Thank the turn. Goodbye, Silence. She looks okay. She looks victorious. As always. Eloy. You did it. Where's he going? As far away as anyone can go. Oh. Are you sure? You're staying. For a time. You people are going to need all of the help you can get. Does anyone else need a drink? Not if it's that ale of yours. Uh, uh, I'd be fine with a nap. Excellent idea. Uh, 
I hope it's really over this time. There's another battle ahead, Elizabeth. Very different than the one you fought. It's not about the distant hope of creating a new world. about preserving the one we have. My friends have a new mission. To spread the word and ask for help. They've taken it in stride. I think it's because they've always known what I've only just started to understand. That the people of this world have the strength to fight any battle. ingenuity to solve any problem. The courage to overcome any obstacle. And the resilience rise after any setback. As for me, I can't say I'm not afraid. What lies ahead will be harder than anything we've faced before. But I know I can put the fear aside. Because for the first time in my life, I feel like I'm not alone.
are full of flowers my ears are full of songs my heart is sad and numb I'd rather just be wrong I listen when you talk your words all make sense but under 